If you've ever purchased military surplus style ammunition or been in an actual military surplus store, you'll probably recognize these stripper clips here, but do you really know how to use them? In this video, we're going to show you basic principles of how to actually load and use the stripper clips smoothly, as well as put them in a head-to-head -head time test, both for actually loading the stripper clips themselves versus, say, putting reloaded rounds into an ammunition bin. But most importantly, we're going to take 29 rounds, because, you know, YouTube magazine rules, and compare whether it's faster to load a magazine with three stripper clips or load the rounds by hand. If you're loading fresh ammunition into the stripper clips for the first time, you're going to make sure one of your tabs is bent at a 90 degree angle, where the other one is straight out the end to allow you to slide the round down inside the channel so it holds the rim. I like to take at least two or three rounds, slide them down to the bottom of the clip, just to act as a stop, and then just take them down and press additional ones on. This clip is a little bit stiff here, and of course with use, we'll kind of smooth out. Add in a couple more. And as we get towards the end here, you see that one was decently hard to slide in. I had actually bent the tab down, so fix that. And of course nine, because we're going to be loading, well, again, 29. Now, we're going to show you how to use them to actually load a magazine. First thing you're going to want to do is take your magazine here. In this case, I'm just using a regular old Magpul P-Mag. Take the spoon, which is going to be the feeding device, and slide it down into the two grooves on the back of the mag itself. Then, we take our first clip of ammo, drop it into the spoon, which actually holds it in place, and press down close towards the base of the, the actual clip portion here, and slide them in. They go in pretty quick. See the last one here, give us the full 29. And I don't quite push that last one down all the way, so you'll notice here when I pull the spoon off, it pops out into my hand. But we're able to just pick that up and pop that last one in, and that's basically all there is to it. You just need to make sure you push down straight and not in an angle. Now let's do the head-to-head -head and see which one we get 29 rounds in first. I already have a couple rounds in the regular one here on the right. Oh no, we already have 10 in the P-Mag. Now 20. And going for the last... And there's 29 in 12.33 seconds. Not only is the stripper clip method a lot faster as far as getting the mags loaded, but it also has a decent bit less stress on your hands as far as loading all the individual rounds. If you're someone who shoots on a range that maybe charges by the hour, by the half hour, and you're not allowed to bring in loaded mags for some reason, having stripper clips to actually load your mags when you get to the range can save you some extra time there as well. If you are interested in picking up some stripper clips to load some ammo in for easy loading and storage like this, I got mine off of eBay. I think, if I remember correctly, I paid like 11 or $12 for a whole box of them, plus a spoon, and they're in excellent condition. You can tell they're only like used once or something like that. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, and there's a chance you might have already left it in the comment section down below asking me, well, okay, so being able to use the clips and stuff is, is great, but you got to load them first and all the time that that takes and so on. So for this next bit, I'm actually going to compare the time it takes to load the stripper clips versus the time it would take to basically take those rounds and stick them into one of these blue MTM boxes that I use here and that I've seen a lot of us reloaders use to store our completed rounds. In full fairness and disclosure here, I do have a lot more practice taking the rounds out of the completed cartridge bin here and actually stacking them into the MTM boxes. So I'm probably a little bit faster at that than I am at putting the loose rounds onto the actual stripper clips themselves. And first 10 here done with the stripper clips, and we're looking at, I think, just about 20 on the MTM box. So roughly about double the amount of time. Getting the last row set up here. I think I do a, I think I might do a full 30 because it's just stacking them in the box. Obviously no magazine rules. And almost finished. And right at 48 seconds or thereabouts for the MTM box. And you can see we're just getting on to the third one here for the actual stripper clips. Again, I like to kind of set them down towards the bottom there and then stack the additional ones on top. So not slow by any means, but like I said, I'm a little bit less practiced at that than I am with just sticking them directly into the box. But again, still not slow. One last advantage here for the actual stripper clips themselves, and that's just how densely you can actually pack the ready ammunition. You can see here, this is about 250 rounds worth on clips, and it takes up about the same space as one of my 100 round blue MTM boxes would. 
Let me know what you think about these stripper clips in the comment section down below. For me, I prefer to keep a certain quantity of my ammo actually on stripper clips in the event that I need to go to a class or something where I need a decent quantity of ammunition more than I can just easily have stored in magazines. They're pretty slick to use once you actually understand how they work, and I definitely appreciate having some around. Thanks as always, and take care.